Hey guys, it is the Friction here, or Tiger Tank 1 2, however you want to call me, I do not really care. And uh, as from the video, you can already see that we are back in World Tanks. And today I've got a little bit more of a complex video, um, like the videos I used to do or make back in the days, like a year ago, which were at least <laughs> like 30 minutes long. They were the, the shortest videos, 30 minutes, and uh, some even span from 30 to one hour. And um, that was, uh, yeah, those were the videos that took quite a long time to make. And this video is actually not an exception. Um, today we'll we'll be taking a close look at the T-71 light tank. This is a tier 7 uh, American light tank. And we will take a closer look at the light tanks and world tanks in general. Now, um, you guys probably know, or if you're looking at my channel, there is almost no gameplay to light tanks because I usually do not play light tanks. And... Um, since also light tanks are lower tier than 8 and I usually play tier 8 tanks um, and uh, above or uh, medium tanks and tank destroyers and heavy tanks but not light tanks or artillery now there's a good reason to that and um, th that being is that light tanks are actually the hardest tanks in world of tanks in my opinion to, uh, to master um, they are very lightly armored and they are a substantial part of the team like any other tank in, in uh, World of Tanks. Now I'm talking about the light tanks that are coming after tier 5, like tier 6, like tier, starting from tier 5, the ELC is a very good example for that. Um, one of those uh, light tanks that can get into tier 7, tier 8, tier, uh, I don't think tier 9 matches, but tier 8 matches and is obviously uh, in a very bad state going up against tier 8 tanks but still there are some amazing games some amazing people playing this tank and showing you how capable light tanks are in this game and um, what you can do with light tanks if you play them correctly and now the, the hard thing about light tanks is that you know if you want to master them um, for example, I can show you my statistics on the T-71 and it's 47% win rate that shows you pretty much already all that you need to know about me and driving light tanks. Uh, I am not a light tanks uh, master or a specialist. I'm more of a medium heavy tank specialist. Now, the thing is, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a couple of, uh, like one new series to this. I had this thought in my head that I would start a series uh, from the hardest tanks to play, in my opinion, the light tanks, then going on to the to the easiest tanks to play, like all the way down, hardest tanks to play would be obviously light tanks, then going on to medium tanks, uh, which is rather hard to master too, um, then of course heavy tanks or tank destroyers now, um, now this is a question I still have to debate over that question if to the heavy tanks are harder to play than the tank destroyers and in the end of course artillery or artillery in a in a special kind of bracket because I I'm not really playing that much already uh, I haven't really played that many games in my artillery um, tanks um, except for T92 uh, I think 100 games in T92 and no 200 actually well I'm a scumbag <laughs> But I, I don't usually play this tank. I'm not the biggest fan of artillery. But I'm not an artillery hater. Uh, obviously, they can ruin uh, some great games for you. But it's part of the game. And we'll have to accept this for now. And yeah, so artillery may be in a separate um, bracket. Because, uh, well, a lot of you guys probably think that artillery is way too easy to play. Um, since you only have to click. But you still have to have some things... Uh, to keep some things in mind, like travel time and splash damage and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, I think I'll do that separately in another video and it will not be included in the uh, e easiest to the hardest tanks to play. And um, now, yeah, so let's get back to the topic, to the light tanks and the T-71 especially. Now, light tanks are uh, quite a substantial part of this game since they their main purpose in higher tiers now especially in higher tiers uh, now this tank the T-71 can face tier 10s 
and um, their purpose is um, to spot enemy tanks so they are the lights the eyes for your team if you have a light tank and you do not play it correctly let's say now this is the hard thing do you when do you spot how do you spot do you sit inside of a bush do you not sit inside of a bush do you play it like an aggressive lightly armored medium tank like I usually do or do you do you really sit back and wait for the perfect moment do you suicide scout now this is these are all questions that come to your mind when you're playing light tanks and this is why they are so hard to play now the T-71 this is an auto loading and one of the better light tanks of course this is um, in my opinion one of the easier light tanks to play and I still am rather bad at it now um, if we check real fast uh, the other light tanks that I've mastered one of them is the VK-2801 that was like the equivalent of the T-50-2 which used to be in the game an amazing scout and also also of course um, the Shafi now the different kind of versions of the Shafi um, you can see that my win percentage on these light tanks is not very good and um, that does not mean well <laughs> I'm not maybe the best player that's one of the things but also it means that it's really hard to to get great games in those light tanks because um, you yourself you cannot carry the game as much as you are able to do in a medium tank or a um, heavy tank or a tank destroyer for example because mainly the, you do not have the armament and the armor and now this is changing uh, lately uh, of course not the um, armor factor light tanks are still lightly armored that's why they call light tanks they do have the speed that the heavy tanks the medium tanks and the tank destroyers uh, lack but still now they have um, the guns now the prime examples for that is RU251 it has a 90 millimeter Ryan metal gun with a 190 millimeter average penetration and 250 if you're loading APCR rounds I'm not sure if it's APCR or heat uh, looking at the gun I think it's rather heat and uh, you'll be able to penetrate um, tier 9s and tier, not, tier 10s, tier 9s, tier 8s easily um, if you aim at the weak spots and if you flank them uh, now if you look at the T-54 lightweight the Russian um, tier 8 scout it has a 100 millimeter uh, which has like the av average penetration of the T-44 gun and the stock T-54 gun and now this this is pretty much the thing light tanks are really hard to, to master um, I myself have mastered none of the light tanks pretty much um, I always have tried to get the ELC and uh, well I had a lot of fun with the ELC some great games with the ELC if we look at the stats on the ELC I think they're better than on some other tanks let's look at the nation and ELC is right here 61 percent but not mastery badge um, so this is this is a question um, light tanks do play such a vital role in this game because they are the eye, for the eyes for the for your team. Uh, if you do not have any light tanks, the medium tanks will go scout, and these guys, of course, everybody has their own role. Medium tanks are there; uh, they do have better armor, they have a better armament, but they're uh, slightly less faster. They're slower than the light tanks, and they're able to still be rather fast, flank around the enemy, uh, divert. Uh, like when the heavy tanks there I'm gonna say like this okay there are different roles to every tank in this game to every tank type heavy tanks are there to control with their big armor and their great armament they're there to um, take the biggest brunt of the offense uh, or the the attack they are the first wave the first front line um, and you'll be engaging with this tank uh, head on. Um, you do not have the mobility to flank usually, except if you're like, for example, the IS-3 or Amex 5100, but this is not really a heavy tank from the armor type. Um, and you do have the great armament, so you'll be going head on. Now, the next uh, tank in line uh, that is coming is the medium tank. The medium tank is 
there to support the heavy tank. While the heavy tank is engaging uh, enemy up front, the medium tank swoops around with its great armament, is able to put um, some really high amount of damage into the enemy and um, is able to flank them and pretty much take care of the rest. Uh, the, with the speed and the, the mobility and uh, like for example with, uh, with a pack you'll be able to get behind them and take them out rather easily while your heavy tank are uh, while your heavy tanks are keeping them busy in front now the heavy tanks now there's another tank type um, the tank destroyers the tank destroyers are not as well armed as the heavy tanks but their armament is the best in the game uh, next to artillery um, their guns are the biggest guns in the game they do the most damage and they're there to take out the heavy tanks to counter the heavy tanks but from a safe distance usually now the su-152 is not a great example for that neither is the su-122-44 because that tank is absolutely overpowered and now this is the e3 now this e3 it does have much more armor than um, a heavy tank and it's a lot better armored and now it kind of changes that um, the, the armor changes from the uh, early on lightly armored to the uh, late heavily armored tank destroyer uh, and since they have changed this quite a lot since the uh, tank destroyers are not able to sit in a bush and fire 200 meters away from you and not being lit now they changed it and it's correct that you you like the tanks when they fire behind the bush um, especially the tank destroyers who had like a massive amount of camo um, they are now more reliant on their armor now uh, the E3 and the E4 are still great sniper tanks um, from a far range but with their armor they're still able to, to dish out a lot of damage so that means they do have less armor uh, less HP than the heavy tanks for example the E100 has 2700 HP and the E4 has 2000 HP 700 HP more uh, but the E4 has um, better rate of fire and uh, it does more alpha damage, or a better penetration at least, definitely. So the tank destroyers are there to take out the heavy tanks. And they're also able to hold the first front line with the heavy tanks, with their armor, which is not too bad. But they uh, do not have the most HP. And this makes them very vulnerable to artillery first off. Now every tank is vulnerable to artillery because, well, the artillery can shoot anything uh, that is not behind a solid structure and uh, even then there is no guarantee that an artillery is not able to, to splash around or hit you directly because of the weird gun arc that it has and like the FV30 and 4 uh, yeah so the artillery is there to uh, dish out massive amounts of damage on heavy tanks and tank destroyers who are not able uh, to retaliate against those R3s. This makes them kind of unfair in the game. Um, but everything is there for a reason. So heavy tanks uh, getting hit by artillery and um, tank destroyers and now the heavy tanks play a, a very vital role for the um, supporting tank destroyers. Now um, it's, it's like this. The heavy tank counters medium tanks because um, heavy tanks have turrets and they're not the fast tanks but they're still able to turn and move around and uh, change positions like the E5 and they have a decent armament and decent armor um, they are able to engage medium tanks the medium tanks are there to flank the tank destroyers who do not have any turret in that case rendering them completely useless if you're on the side or behind them and which is the case uh, with the medium tanks if you're flanking um, which renders the tank destroyers obsolete so the tank destroyers they um, counter heavy tanks the heavy tanks counter medium tanks the medium tanks are there to counter light tanks now the light tanks now the artillery counters everything uh, and usually should focus on heavy tanks and tank destroyers and not on medium tanks or light tanks except if they're the only targets available um, and this is also one of the other aspects I would probably make a video about um, focusing fire or um, or um, what is it called uh, import target importance that's I think it's called differently um, yeah 
you know what I mean. Uh, it's like uh, if you have an artillery that hits for at least 1,000 damage, um, you should engage the heaviest tank with the most HP pool, and not a little medium or light tank with only uh, 1,000 HP, and which is not a big threat to your team like a E3 with with 2,000 HP, and you take away 1,000 HP. There's only 1,000 HP to to go. Um, to take out for and your heavy tanks and tank destroyers or media tanks whatever are able to engage this tank and take him out now this is very important but this is a complete other video uh, and uh, it's, what, it's something that I see happening often not just with h artillery but also with hard hitting tanks like tank destroyers and um, yeah that is very important so light tanks now this is the dilemma of the light tank the light tank is fast it has a uh, good gun, like for the example the T-71, but it meets a lot higher tiers. Now the T-71, if you look at it from a light tank perspective, and then if you put it into matchmaking, it's like a tier 8, since it can face tier 10 tanks. Um, but the thing is that light tanks do not have a lot of armor, they do not have a lot of HP, they do not have um, a lot of, uh, or the best guns, but the guns are more decent now um, but what they do have is most of the time amazing view range uh, speed and mobility uh, track, traver uh, tra track traverse speed is great on all the light tanks usually and they can get around the map very fast now that means that the light tanks can get into a position very early on in the game um, spot the enemy tanks giving potential targets for medium heavy tanks, tank destroyers and um, artillery of course and that is very vital now if you do not have eyes you cannot shoot something that you don't see and um, if the light tanks do not uh, if the light tanks fail early on in the game the medium tanks have to take over or heavy tanks or tank destroyers they have to go scout and this of course um, is a huge a huge backdrop uh, backdrop for your entire team since uh, now if you look at the medium tanks of course have uh, some of them have really good view range uh, view ranges but the tank destroyers are just going to get totally wrecked now this is tier 10 but if you get into a tier 9 match where the view range is like 300 or something like that um, you will totally get wrecked if there is a light tank on the uh, enemy team just spotting now this is why it's so hard. If you're spotting with the light tank, there are um, possibility. There, there are moments where you have to differentiate. Do you sit inside of a bush, sit there with binos, uh, binoculars, and a camo net, and see uh, and spot for your team, or do you go up close, make a run, uh, maybe get lit yourself, but you will light a lot more tanks, maybe. Uh, now, this is these are all um, things that are rather important important in World of Tanks and I myself I'm not a good scout uh, I will show you a gameplay right after and uh, I like to play this tank as a small or medium tank which is pretty much the wrong thing to do um, it is it is possible in the new light tanks for example the T-71 with the auto loading gun or the M41 if you are very careful of not getting hit you're able to dish out a lot of damage um, still nonetheless because they think you're a light tank which is sometimes even um, um, yeah sometimes it's uh, not even a back uh, what is it called just got it oh uh, doesn't matter sometimes people ignore you um, if you're in a light tank because they think you cannot harm them at all so you can flank around and you can dish out massive amounts of damage especially in the T-71 with uh, those 10 shots or whatever 8 shots in, in the magazine you can do at least 1400 damage and um, people sometimes just forget that and um, that is really uh, yeah that's great for the light tank driver so um, yeah light tanks and their specific role in the game um, I think that's covered so let's take a look at the T-71, a close look at the T-71. Now, uh, I'm making it rather easy for myself because this is a, me uh, a light tank that is very, very powerful, in my opinion. 
It has an auto loader and um, it is one of those light tanks that is it's kind of the exception. You can really do a lot of damage with this light tank. But if you're sitting in a light tank, now also the French light tanks are rather fast and rather strong too because they are auto loaders too. But if you're sitting inside of an Aufklärungs Panther, uh, Aufklärungs Panzer, Panther, um, this tank, it does not have an auto loader gun, it has a huge profile, but it's rather fast. Now the thing is, it's really hard to master this tank. Uh, it does have a fast fire rate, a good gun I heard, um, a 75, what is it called? Uh, here, 75, uh, uh, with average penetration of 157 millimeters, and it also has APCR rounds. So, um, it's gonna be rather hard with this tank since it has a huge profile and it's really big. So, it's uh, a little bit more easy for me with the T71, for example. Um, so, this tank has 840 uh, hit points, which is not a lot, but for a uh, light tank, it is pretty much the standard. It weighs not much with um, 20 tons maximum. Uh, so, that means if you get rammed by anything, you're instantly dead. Uh, do not ram anything. Uh, it happened to me that I sometimes drove into like suicide scouting and I drove into a heavy tank and <laughs> I gave that guy uh, a free kill, 840 damage and I maybe did 50 damage to him. Uh, engine horse, uh, engine power is rather strong with 400 horsepower uh, per ton ratio that makes this tank really really fast. Top speed with 64.4 kilometers, uh, of course a fast tank. It's a light tank, it has to be fast. Traverse speed, of course, great with 56. Hull armor non existent, turret armor non existent, standard shell damage 113 to 188, and standard shell penetration on this tank is, since it's firing APCR rounds, um, 131 to 219 millimeters. So I think it's 175. Um, still, nonetheless, very good. Like almost the same pen as the no the same pen as the T44 105 mm gun um, and yeah so rate of fire rate of fire of course very high with 12 rounds per minute turret reverse speed 42 uh, degrees per second which is really great view range 400 standard uh, you can put on binocs here um, binoculars and you'll be able to um, roll around with 500 meters view range uh, then of course now I have uh, I didn't put Binox in because I'll play it really aggressively you'll see what I mean in the next video and um, mount uh, coded optics plus 10% view range uh, and signal range is 745 so how do you play light tanks in that case now <laughs> I I'm gonna show you two games now where there is a possibility how to play this tank but which I rather think you should not be doing because uh, light tanks are there to spot and not to engage um, and only engage if you must and uh, from the side never front of it and you'll see how you should maybe not play this tank right now with two gameplays I have set up so I'll uh, see you guys so um, this is game on Muravanka uh, that has been changed quite a lot recently and um, this pretty much shows you how difficult it is to master light tanks now I'm driving the T71 which is even a light a really really easy light tank to play um, since it has really a great arm a great armament and um, is rather fast um, so it just shows you the uh, the skills you need if you wanna master the light tanks um, and you see the first thing I do is already like um, the first the first wrong thing so I'm going over to the woods um, now keep in mind the the uh, the job of the light tank is to light the enemy team uh, you're the eyes for your team so that your artillery and your tank destroyers from the back can shoot um, the enemy team, the heavy tanks and the tank destroyers or whatever and you can see we have four or five tank destroyers six tank destroyers actually uh, which is already more well, two thirds, no, uh, one third of the team and um, you can already see that 
actually my job would have been to go over to the one or two line and uh, get into a nice push and sit there and uh, spot for my team because um, there is going to be a quite big amount of uh, heavy tanks coming and you'll see that just in a second so right now the thing is what I did wrong right here is that I played this tank not like um, not like a light tank but more like a, a very lightly armored medium tank and this is one problem that um, a lot of people or the one thing that a lot of people do when they're playing light tanks they kind of tend tend to um, uh, tend to play a little bit too aggressively uh, they become um, too self self-assured of themselves um, and they start to get into engagements that cost them a lot of HP like right there I lost 110 H uh, no, I only have 110 HP left and I lost 730 HP in that one firefight with the Amex 1375 and the Leopard and the T34-3 um, this shows you that it is vital for you, for light tank drivers, not to get into such engagements um, ever because you will still need the HP later on in the game and you will see what I mean. So right now you can see the 1-2 uh, line is in a quite bad position right now. Um, they have a light tank right there, WZ-131, who's lighting the tank destroyers and the heavy tanks and uh, pretty much we have already lost four tanks over there and um, it shows you that I should have been over on the other side and should have lit the tanks for my team now the thing is uh, I thought that we would need more help over here because we didn't have a lot of tanks at first and we kind of lost that T-34 because he kind of he pushed very aggressively in there all by himself and we didn't support him because we were uh, all sitting in the back uh, because we couldn't push over there we didn't have the HP and um, the gun person to take him out so that was pretty much a suicide move that I got uh, so right now you can see I'm playing this tank more like a sniper medium now sitting in the back and sniping the uh, IS2 and uh, we're losing at the same time we're losing the one two line and this is this is the thing now you're in a, sitting in a in a light tank you can have all the skill you want but you are very reliant of your team um, you have to rely on them because they have the HP and you do, you just do not have the HP or um, the uh, the armor now I do have the great gun and that means I can move around and flank the guys but um, it will not help me if uh, I have to get into engagement engagement with at least uh, seven tanks and I flank them there's still gonna be one or two tanks so they will turn around and will engage me so you can see we kind of lost the one two line um, the heavy tanks, the tank destroyers broken through, we have only got one ISU left there in the artillery and I realized that we have to go back to base and defend it. So right now I make one big mistake and that is I actually wanted to go flank the enemy and now this is, this is also one of those aspects of the light tank driver. Um, what do you do in such a situation? Do you go back to base? Do you go hunt artillery? I've seen that quite often that people go hunt artillery in that time or do you flank the guys or do you as I just keep on moving and uh, keep on shooting whatever comes in your path and um, this pretty much proves to me that I kind of uh, failed as a light tank driver uh, because I have done the exact wrong thing, wrong thing. I have focused more on damage than on um, winning the game or defending um, the base and pretty much already losing uh, because I did not do the right thing at the beginning of the match and did not get to the right position and this is exactly what's so important as a light tank driver that you know where you're going, that you know what you're doing and that you know the responsibility that you have 
for your entire team because these tank destroyers, this is a perfect example right now, they can only spot these guys if they're really close by and right now he has no eyes. Uh, he can shoot the WZ-131 while he's lighting all these guys or both of the tank destroyers and he can't see any other guy shooting at him. And this shows you that this WZ-131 pretty much did it exactly correctly and he went with the team, he lit for the team and um, pretty much won the game for the team. Now. This is always the problem that a lot of people that play uh, like tanks play them like small medium tanks and I cannot blame them because I do the exact same and that's just why they are so hard to master and I would say this pretty much uh, sums up the entire light tank debate um, the, ha the hardest tank or the hardest tank to play and that's definitely the light tanks. Um, in my opinion and I would really like to know what you think is the hardest type of tank to play and um, yeah I'll maybe make some videos about the other uh, tanks like medium tanks why I think medium, tank medium tanks are the closest uh, to hard to play like the light tanks so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did um, yeah that's nice <laughs> if you did uh, like comment I don't know, subscribe. Um, if you didn't like it, dislike it. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys some other day.